And little Amsy Divey, a kiddly Divey too. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Morning, Walter. You all right, kiddo? I'm fine, Andy. Bit damp, but you'd expect that down here. Shall I see you to your bus? No, thanks. I'm on my bike. Oh. Well, you'll save on fares then. <laughs> So, that's how it is, Mr. Watson. He's been as good as gold and as dull as dishwater. Never despair, Mrs. Cap. As long as we have a measure of agreement, there's always hope. What is there to agree on? That you two should never have got married. Now, you say your husband's a changed man. He's lost all interest. It's that fall in the canal. I think the water's gone to his cap. Mm, let's see, he's given up boozing? Completely. Gambling? Definitely. Womanising? Never touch the stuff. Yet there's still something missing. There is. And I think I know what it is. You see, Mrs. Cap, all these reforms, while admirable, of course, are of a negative nature. To save your marriage, what Mr. Cap has to do is something positive. Like what? If I might have a word in private. Do you reckon? Can I be letting on this? What are you whispering about? There's something Mr. Watson wants you to do, pet. Well, come on, woman, out with it. What? <laughs> that show, Kim. Mr. Watson suggested that if he really loved me, I should stop at home while he went to wait for it. <laughs> 